This is Andrew from DPS. Today, I'm going to show you the new analog gauges on the NetGuardian 216G3's web interface. So to log in, I just need to type in the IP address of this NetGuardian on my network. I just log in with my username and password now. And I'm in the web interface. These are the discrete alarms. Uh, but if I click on analogs, I'll go straight to the new analog gauges. Uh, here they are. You can see they're in a variety of different configurations. I've disabled a few of them that I'm not using, uh, so you can do that. This is the 8 analog model of the 216G3. There's also a build option for 2. So if you have the 2, you'll just have your, your 2 gauges. You can see I'm monitoring a variety of different things. I've got a diesel fuel tank the humidity at the site, uh, power feed A voltage. I don't have anything going into power feed B right now, so that's disabled. Uh, an internal temperature sensor and an external temperature sensor. And you can see they've all got high and low thresholds, uh, which I've customized. So let's say a situation was happening at a site. I'm looking at my external temperature right now. It's in the green, but let's say we had an HVAC failure. Well, then the temperature is going to start to rise. And you can watch that happening on the gauge here. It's already starting to increase and it's just nice to be able to see it. You can see how close you are to the yellow threshold and when you cross into that yellow uh, minor over zone you'll see a flashing yellow light. It becomes very clear that something's amiss and you'll start watching it. Uh, we're, we're just uh, about to cross 90 degrees so we're definitely in the yellow zone now. So something's happening. If I've got a tech nearby I'll tell them to stop by and check on it. But as it continues to increase I'm going to cross into that red zone and now that's the major over something's clearly wrong and in that case it's an emergency situation I'm going to send somebody uh, you'll see that the gauge helps me know that it's really an emergency by changing to a faster blinking red light and at each of these thresholds I can get notifications so I'll get an SNMP trap at my master I can get send out an email to someone uh, so even if I'm not checking this interface I can still be aware of these important changes in my analog values so let's say we're nearing 100 degrees, it's a critical situation, but we go, we get the air conditioning repaired. Well, then the temperature is going to start to drop. And again, we can watch that happen on the gauge too. I breathe some sighs of relief here as it starts to return to normal levels. Uh, we're going to get out of the red zone here and go back into the yellow. And we'll keep watching it and make sure we get back down into the green. One key factor in this web interface is you can customize it to be the way you want it to be. I got into an interesting little debate with a coworker here about what the best way to represent my diesel fuel tank was. I was thinking of it in terms of a car's gas tank. I'm used to seeing a needle on a semicircle arc like this. Well, he was thinking of it more like what you see here on the humidity measurement, a, a vertical bar. So let's say I decided that that was for me. I wanted that vertical bar instead of this semicircle. I just go to the analogs edit menu on the left. And then I can go to advanced under diesel fuel tank. And I get to pick what type of gauge I want. So I want that vertical one instead. I'll click on that one. And I'll click save. I get a notice that that's been written to flash. So it's in the NetGuardian. Now I can go back and monitor my analogs, and there it is. I've got the same data represented in the way that I prefer. So that's a, a key function. If you happen not to like a gauge, you do have another option. If you really just want to see a nice big number, you can get a nice big number. You just go into Advanced, and instead of one of the gauges, select None, and then go down and Save. And click OK. Go back to Analogs. And look there, you get a nice big number representing, again, the same data. And you'd be able to keep track of your thresholds in these blue fields here, major, under, minor, under, minor, over, and major, over. So these are the analog gauges. They're, they're very nice. You can see they pull about uh, once a second. Uh, they look really good. And most importantly, they give you information very quickly that you need to do your job more effectively. For more information about these analog gauges, or to receive a customized sales proposal, call DPS at 1-800-693-0351.
You can also visit us on the web at www.dpstele.com.